we're going to rename the main component to increment 16 UI. And then we're going to add an increment 16 subcircuit. Our increment 16 subcircuit needs the add 16 component that we just created. So we will load that. And it looks like I have naming conflicts. So is it the case when you start including libraries that include libraries that you start getting duplicates? Uh, let me go away and figure out what's going on here and I will be back. Okay, after looking into the problem, I think I found it. So in the add 16, I have both a half adder and a full adder components being used with the top one being a half adder because that's all you need because you're not dealing with the carry in. Uh, but I'm guessing that because the full adder itself requires the use of the half adder, that pulling in the add 16 library into the increment uh, component has some problem with the fact that this is duplicated inside this. Although why it works in add 16, I'm not quite sure. It seems kind of like a bug in Logisim. I looked on the forums to see if I could find a reference to this bug, but it's not mentioned. So uh, I'm going to assume that's what the problem is. And I am going to uh, delete this component. And I'm going to remove the half adder live completely because now it's not needed. So the output here, and then the carry out, going to the carry in here. So let's make sure with all of that, all those gyrations. Right, so one plus one yields two. And then one plus three is four. Okay, that seems like that is still working. Right, so let's save that now. And then we'll, I don't think I saved the increment yet. I was in the process of making it and I think I just blasted it. So uh, let's recreate this. So. This will be increment 16 UI. And then we'll want a subcircuit inc 16, which will be our actual implementation. And then we want to load in the add 16 library. Let's see if this takes it. Ah, oh, look, it takes it this time. Okay. It's a bit of a, that's kind of an annoying bug because, you, you know, you could see that you want to maybe stack these things on top of each other, but that's quite all right. Okay. So for an increment 16, uh, we need an add 16 component. And then uh, we want a pin, 16 bit pin. So to this, uh, to the B input, we want to add the constant one. So that means uh, we're going to use this component here. Now, this needs the same number of data bits that this pin requires, which is 16. Uh, we just want 0x1. And then... It's going to be connected like so. And then we need a pin to 
to represent the output. And again, it's going to be a 16 bit. And uh, let's flip the orientation around. And um, it's going to be an output. So our UI is essentially going to be a duplication of that, but with actual components. So uh, we will take uh, our dip switch. 16 of them, we'll call it A, and then we need the increment component we just built, and the splitter from the last video I found will neatly just plug into the top of that switch bank, so if we point it south, and then again the fan out is 16 and the bit width is 16. And if you just set that on, oops, set that on top, plugs right in. Right, so there's our input. Our output's gonna be some LEDs. Uh, bank of them, LED bar right here. O for out. And we got 16 of these dudes. And then another splitter. It'll be facing north and we'll move the handedness around and then it needs 16 fan out with 16 bit bit width uh, didn't hit enter I guess nope right and then again he'll just kind of plug in like that perfect and he's all well the first one's already lit which is right because we have zero so again click the uh, click the first, the zeroth bit. That should give us two over here, which is correct. And then three should give us four. And two should give us three and so forth. So yes, it does look as though the increment is working. Thanks for watching.